And he's going in. This morning on Relationships 101, the right where. Some people will spend hours, some people, uh, planning and primping for a day. But who are they really impressing? Joining us with some answers is Steve Santagati, author of the New York Times bestseller, The Manual. Good Steve, good morning. Thank you, Amy. Amy, you know, when a woman gets ready for a date, they'll often splurge on a new outfit, a trip to the beauty salon. But what matters to a woman may not necessarily make the grade for a guy. So I headed out to Bloomingdale's with two single women to show them some hot looks that will definitely turn heads. Now, you know, one of the biggest things when women are getting dressed is that they dress for style more than they do to attract the opposite sex, but you're single. So you have to keep in mind what a guy is going to see. And the reflection that you see in the mirror might not be at all the reflection that you're giving out to the male population. So I'm going to show you how to balance style and be provocative. Let's go. Sounds good. Naima, come on out here. Let's see what you got. Now, see, this is gorgeous. Brutally honest. Right. How do you feel in it? I feel comfortable. Two things are going to happen. Both men and women are going to look at you. Men are going to look at you because of the sexy material that's underneath. It looks like a nightgown or something. Mm -hmm. or what do you call it? A, a camisole. <laughs> Thank you. It looks, like, it looks like a camisole thing, so guys are going to notice that. And women are going to go, wow, this is a really cute jacket. So you have style and sex appeal. Lori, when you're shopping, what do you take into consideration more? Style or how men are going to perceive you? Um, I actually am more simple than that. I just think of what I can wear to work and what I can also use to wear like out. And this outfit hides way too much, so we're out of here. She's going to get changed. <laughs> oh my god. It's insane. Do you feel comfortable? Not really. Why? You feel naked. I do. And you feel naked because you haven't done this before. And this is not too provocative. This is smoking hot. <laughs> and Steve, uh, you care so much about dressing that you wore the same outfit. Well, women like this. And this is part <laughs> of my image for my book. Apparently, they like jeans and t-shirts. But I, that, the last one we showed, I was really proud of she her. She did look fantastic, she, I'll have to say. It totally changed the way her eyes looked and, and her, the way she carried herself. And she so it felt a little uncomfortable at first, but she got it. If, if you're uncomfortable, though, can you still pull it off? I know self-confidence is sexy, certainly, but... You have to. Fake it till you make it. You have to. Guys are going to notice a certain thing. That's the laws of nature. The brightest feathers, the biggest antlers, whatever okay, you want to call it. Okay, fake it till you make it. So you get the guy's attention, but keeping the guy's attention, do you have to keep it all up? Bait him with your body, keep him with your brains. Guys, you know, first thing you're going to notice, women are no different. You're going to notice a guy's physicality first, right. and then you'll get to know him. And if he's an idiot, you're not going to be turned on. Same thing with men. If we're a little bit more lenient, though. She could be a little dumb. It doesn't really matter. I'm just telling you how this is the reality. This is the truth. But the bottom line is we're going to first notice a woman who is attractive and is dressed provocatively. And then if you want to stay with us and we're going to keep a relationship. The only thing I get nervous about the word provocative because it feels like provoking. there's expectations at the end of the day. You know, if you wear a certain, you know, outfit, there might be. No, no, no. Who are you going out with cavemen? No, it's good. No, I've been married that. for 11 years. Yeah. I, clearly, you're I'm out, not of the dating scene. Look, you still want to look attractive for your right. husband, right? Sure, it's sure. It's the same thing. It's a, but if this is the beginning. The foundation of every solid relationship starts in the first three months to a year. You keep the guy attracted, and then you keep, you do what, what I call. What about makeup and hair? Is less is more? I mean, that's yeah, what I've we want. Heard. We want natural, simple. You know, when you go out to the grocery store, you should look a little good if you're single, stuff like that. But less is definitely more. We want you natural. And you should be thinking about those trips to the grocery store. You say in the post office. Right. Yes. Don't under, go in your no, jogging suit. No, your don't be a slump. You have listen. Understand how men think, and don't judge us because we don't bash us for being these dogs and these pigs or whatever. Just try to understand us, work it into your wardrobe, and you'll be much happier. And is it not just what you wear, but how you wear it? Absolutely. Like we don't care about shoes, but women with their shoes and the lingerie. You don't know what Manola Blahniks are or anything. No, like that. I could care less. But so we we it's the way you make you feel, and we pick up on that, and All that's right. sexy. All right, Steve Santagati, thanks so much. We appreciate it. telling us like it is. Enlightening. Right. <laughs> Enlightening. If you would like to read an excerpt from.